All right, everybody, welcome back. Auto Auction Rehabs here in Los Angeles at the Insurance Auto Auctions in Gardena. I've been walking around just looking at some of these vehicles. You've got some fantastic vehicles out here. Anybody wants to pick up a vehicle on the cheap? Prices are coming down now from what I've seen. I would say get yourself online, look at these vehicles. If there's something you like, come out, take a look at it. If you're not a dealer, you get in with a broker and you bid on what you want. And if you win it, you take it home, fix it up a little bit and you've got yourself a far less expensive driver. So let's get into this a little bit now. There's a truck back here that I wanted to look at. And we're gonna do that right now. That Dodge took a hit, didn't it? Goodness. BMW, ooh, oh, poor BMW. I do wanna say a heartfelt thank you very much to IAA Corporate and the folks here in the office at IAA in Los Angeles for allowing me to come out here and do this, especially to say, hey, I, can I come out on Thursday not knowing that that was auction day? And they said, sure. Wow. How neat is that, right? So here we are. Here we are. Look at this beautiful Chevy truck. Looks like it's a three-quarter ton. Let's take a look here. It is a 1500. Wow. Okay, 1500. They have done a little bit of work to it. They've got uh, some bigger tires on it. It's got to be a 4x4. Front disc brakes. It's got a list to the left here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So it looks like it took a hit over here on the left-hand side and pushed the axle off of the springs. That's why you come take a look, guys, because you know what? That is very fixable. That is very fixable. Um, if you wanted to go get a new bed, this bed could be fixed. I'm telling you, this bed could be fixed. If you wanted to go to the expense and pick up another bed for it, it wouldn't be too much. There are going to be, you know, a lot of these beds at the uh, dismantlers. All right, well, that looks like a drive shaft. Look at the size of that drive shaft. That must be like a five inch drive shaft. Let's see if it's open. It is, it is open. There's a license plate on the seat. We'll just turn that over. Oh, it smells nice in here. It's got power. What year did we say it was? Oh, and I missed the mileage. Let me close the door again. This is a 2017 1500. And we're going to get the mileage display, are we? Nope. Let's take a look, though. 65,000 miles. Okay. I'm going to take the key out. Take the key out but leave it there it's got some nice floor mats the interior is actually quite nice the interior is quite nice well let's walk around the rest of the vehicle and evaluate this door closes perfectly the door gaps are good front and rear i mean i'm looking and i'm not showing you see that's what i'm talking about being new at this i'm looking but you're not being able to see it. So there you go, there's the door gaps. Nice door gaps. Pretty even all the way around. This rear, left rear took a little bit of a hit. Doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look terrible. Drive shaft is out of it. Probably got knocked out during the collision. Yeah. You know, the gap might be a little wide here. I don't think you're gonna need a new bed for this truck. Obviously that's gonna be a bit 
cockeyed because of how it's uh, the straight axle is taken right off the springs. So those are some gnarly running boards. Let's take a look in the back. See if we can do this without damaging anything. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And there we go. Wow. I'm going to say somebody leaned heavily on the cologne that drove this thing. Because it smells like cologne. It's not even those Christmas trees. It's, it's cologne. The floor mats are a bit wet. I don't see why they would be wet. Is the window? Yes, the window's down. Son of a gun. Yep. And the last two days, we have had crazy rains. Crazy rains. I wonder... You know what? Let me turn the ignition on. Roll this window up. Two thoughts on that. One, leave the window down because that'll help dry things out. The second thought is we're expecting huge rains again starting in the next day or so. And so given that, this is a nice truck and for it to be soaked with water when it doesn't have to be is senseless. So if I was looking for another truck, this would be on my list. Absolutely. Guys, if you need a truck, look it up. I'm going to give you the number on this one. As a matter of fact, I don't know if it's on an upcoming list or not. You need to come out and check it out for yourself. See if it's something that you like. It's a 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500. And the number that you will need to go onto the website to look this up and see if you too can be an auto auction buyer, the number is 352-12873. All right, these tires are actually in really good shape. They're Falcons. They probably have 60 to 70% of the tread left on them. It's just a shame that somebody somebody tagged that rear end and, and, you know, let's say you need new springs and perches and whatnot, a couple thousand dollars and you've got it fixed up. And what's going to be your savings buying this at auction versus buying it at a, at a retail shop? Save 10000 12000 15000 I don't know. Take a look at it. See what you think. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, that van. That's one of the things I've been considering lately is getting a van, you know, a van life kind of van where you could live in the van. It's a bit smaller than a Class C, so it's going to be able to go more places. This is not one of them. This is more of an airport shuttle van. Um, let's see if there's a sticker. Yes, there is. 2017 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter cargo van. It says cargo van, but well, we're missing a door handle. Let's see what the, what the loss is on this. Theft. This is a theft recovery. You know what? I like looking at theft recoveries and repos simply because if it got recovered quickly, and didn't get into a chase and go rolling around through the desert, it could be a very good vehicle. Repos. You know, people don't know when their vehicle's gonna be repoed. I'm sure they have some idea because they haven't been paying for it. But repos sometimes, you can get a really good deal because, you know, people fall on hard times and they got to keep what they've got and use it for as long as they can. Some people, though, they know they're getting their car repoed and they just trash them. So that's why you come out. Is that really coolant? 20 bottles of coolant out here? Wow. That's why you come out and take a look at what you are interested in or walk around and see what you might be interested in. So it's dusty. 
And it is definitely not a cargo van, if, unless you're gonna say my cargo is people. Needs a little bit of work, a little bit of cleaning. The seats are awesome. You could take the family on a trip and they could have a blast back here. But not a camper, like what I'd be looking for. So we'll move on. Let me get this door closed. There we go. We will move on. I wonder if this is IAA's vehicles that they have decided they're gonna get rid of. Or are they just parking them out here? Who knows? I don't know. Let's take a look around. Parts. We've got parts. Here's some parts. This is a 2018 Honda Pilot. Collision damage. Oh my goodness. A Honda Pilot collision damage. I'm still looking to see which is the front and which is the rear. Wow. Wow. I want to say I would hope that it got hit by a train and the people saw that it was coming and got out. Wow. I don't know what to say about that one. That, that's just, that's ultimate carnage right there. And here we have a vehicle. Now I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna say, you know what? This is a vehicle that the fire department came by and said, we need to practice. And they started cutting it up. Cause that's how you get good with the tools you need to use in doing your job. You come out to a yard like this, take a car that's not worth anything. And it's donated to the fire department to use for cutting up. <coughs> this one has actually been cut up as well. So I'm gonna say this has been cut. This didn't, this didn't just rip apart. This, this, that's been cut up. Oh, it's not, you know, that's a collision vehicle, but it's been cut up. As far as I can tell, I could be wrong. We've got a lot of red cover cars over here. Look at all that. What a shame. Ooh. Carnage. Carnage. Look at this van. Wow. Ram 1500. Ram Promaster cargo van. Well, I don't know as though I'd even want the engine out of it. It did have paint in the back. That exploded. Wow. The good thing is, is the driver's airbag went off and the driver's seat appears to be intact. So hopefully the person got out safely, relatively unharmed. How, we, how do we put it? Hope he did well. Hope he did well. All right, let's walk around and see what else we can find. This for me, being the first videos I'm putting together, is more starting to get familiar. Once I get back to Texas and I get established at a yard and they trust me to uh, do more in depth stuff with the vehicles, then we'll have a different quality of video. But for now, we're looking. We can look, we can touch, we can't, we're not going to start or run or get too in depth. Um, because I've been asked not to do some stuff and these, but we certainly could if we just grab a staff member and do it. But they're busy, man. They are busy. They are running around like crazy out here. I'm not going to bother them. Let's see, 2016 BMW X5. This one came from a collision center. Looked like they were gonna try and fix it. And my guess is, yeah, we can fix that. And they started taking panels off and they went, oh, yeah, no. 
we, we, we can fix that, but it's not gonna meet your insurance company's requirements and your insurance company said, no, we're not gonna pay for all that and it's now totaled. So let's see what we've got inside because I see a big box in there. I like big boxes. Oh, this is beautiful on the inside. What year did we say it was? This is a 2016 BMW with the front bumper cover in the back and parts in the box. They probably ordered a bunch of parts to do repairs and then the company, the insurance company said, no, we're not gonna do the repairs. So let's sit inside and take a look. Oh, comfortable. BMWs are comfortable cars. And you can get in and out of them easily. I'm not going to start it. I don't even know if it has power. Uh, maybe a little bit of power. The light is on, but very dim. So Here we are. Let's see if we can see how many miles. E-Drive. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. I, I, you won't see me driving an electric vehicle, partial electric vehicle, pretend electric vehicle. If you really do the math, they're not helping the environment at all. It's a gimmick. You know, okay, free wind energy. No, no, not free wind energy. How much did it cost and how much resources was required to build those wind turbines that only last for a few years and have to be rebuilt. And you have to drive diesel trucks out there with the parts on. Yeah, come on, come on, no, no. Electric isn't free, folks. It is not free. It may cost you less at the outlet, but it is not free. Anyway, my soapbox. I don't think this is real wood. Beautiful BMW. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some change in there. Some gun wrappers in the auxiliary plug. Oh, hope that doesn't short out. I'm not gonna mess with that. You know what? On the inside, this car is very nice. It's got your thicker, heavier duty um, seats that are showing a little bit of wear already. So the interior doesn't look too bad. Yeah, a little, little, you know, seat is, might have been a big guy like me. Some scratches on the back corner. So it looks like it got kissed on the nose. And some parts were ordered and it was going to be put back together. And for some reason they said, no, no, we're not gonna do that. So here it is. You could probably put it back together and save a bunch of money doing it yourself and have a nice little car. Go online, check it out. You want the number? I'll give you the number. It is 355-60243. 2016 BMW X5 E Drive. Some of you really like the electric vehicle component of that. So go online, check it out, plug that number in, see if it's something you'd like to have. Come out, take a look at it, get yourself scheduled with a broker. Just do that online, pay the fee, bid on the vehicle, take it home, fix it up, drive it, have a great day. Sounds simple, doesn't it? So let's see what else we've got. Jeep. Jeep. Oh, Jeep's got some damage. Looks like Jeep ended up on its side. Not positive there. It could have ended up on its side or it could have scrubbed alongside something. I don't know. K-Rail wouldn't be up that high to where it could scrape the car. So I'm gonna guess that it uh, ended up on its side. Front doors are all taped up because the glass is broken. The back doors look pretty tweaked. So I'm not gonna try and open it up. Oh, here's the mate. Okay, that's all right. So this got T-boned and probably got laid over. My guess. Don't know. Just a guess. So you've got damage on both sides. Yeah, this one's this one's history, I'm afraid. 
This one you're not going to take home and fix up on the cheap. Kia. This is a 2013 Kia Optima. Not a bad looking car. Black. A little bit of trim missing. Not, no big deal. Got a little bit of uh, side swipe damage on the fender there. Not a big deal. You know, you might want to just take that home and uh, give it the old Craigslist body job, you know. All right, there we go. Fixed. Might have a window that's not coming up. Oh, it's got a white interior. Is it white or is it beige? Let's see if we can just peek in the side here. Eh, kind of a beige-ish colored interior. The tinted windows kind of distort that a little bit. Let's see if the passenger side is open. Yes, it is. Okay, well, they might have been a light beige, but now they are dirty. Dirty. There's an airbag on this side, probably an airbag on the other side. It doesn't look like it was deployed. Uh-oh. There we go. It is a theft recovery, I'm guessing. But they trashed it. They trashed it getting out, getting it. The thieves trashed it. Let's see if I'm right on that. Let's see what it's listed as. Yep, lost type, theft. No, well, at least it was recovered. Tesla. You know what? I've never actually seen a Tesla in person. Not interested in them. They're a cool looking car. The idea is fine if you want to drive around town. I mean, you don't, if you fool yourself into thinking you're saving the environment by driving an electric car, well, up to you. But having something like this to run around town and get groceries, okay, sure. It's got some technology in it. You know, they, they are high-tech vehicles. And it, those seats, like marshmallow seats. Let me see if I, I don't want to open the front door because it looks like it's binding on the fender. But let's see if we can open the back door. No. Maybe we can open the other side. No, no, no. All locked up. They might have locked it up so it can't be... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it would be all locked up, but those seats look like marshmallows. If they're as comfortable as they look, I'd be afraid of falling asleep. Good thing it might have auto drive. <laughs> anyway, I digress. It does look very comfortable. Unfortunately, I think once these things are crashed... I don't know. You guys tell me. I, I'm not a Tesla fan. I'm not a Tesla owner. Um, I don't know anybody that is. But I thought I heard that once a Tesla is crashed, um, they shut off the electronics so that it can't be driven again. I don't know. You guys let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Uh-oh. Didn't notice that coming around from the back, but we have a rear wheel that's off kilter. So yeah, this one, this one's had some significant damage, but boy, that interior, that is nice. Kudos to the builders of the Tesla for making a fantastic looking interior. Here's a little Jeep truck. Somebody who needs a little work truck. You've got some grill parts in there, so I'm gonna guess we have some front end damage doesn't look all rusted out oh yep the hood's kind of kinked let's see how bad it is it looks like an automatic transmission and it's got a little front end damage oh yeah the core supports uh busted up the hood's jammed it says you know this this would go very 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 cheap and if you want a 2012 toyota tacoma um there you go Put a few little front end pieces on it. Uh, can we open it? Oh yeah, but it's binding. Oh, no, 
I'm not gonna do that. It's a little dirty on the inside. It was probably a work truck. Yep, probably a work truck. Ooh, this Honda looks really nice. Honda Civic. I like the Honda Civic. I really do. Had a Honda Accord way back when, I think 2009. I love that car. All I did was oil changes and the battery and wipers, just regular general maintenance stuff. Never had any problems with that Honda. It was a great car. 2.4 liter, I believe. Okay, well, the airbag has been deployed on the front. It does have power. It smells like grape. It smells like grape. Interesting. Let's see if we can see how many miles are on it. Does it tell us how many miles are on it? No, no, the dash isn't lighting up. But let's see if we turn the key a little bit. Do we get dash lights? No. Let's see. There we go, there we go. There we go. 53,000 miles. So here you go, a Honda Civic, 53,000 miles. Let me turn the key off. Can I take it out? Yeah, take it out. 53,000 miles, Honda Civic. It's got a little bit of front end damage, airbag deployed. The rear and this side look good. Let's take a look in the back seat, see what it looks like. See if you guys might be interested in buying something like this. See, this interior is in perfect shape. Perfect shape. I don't know what it takes to replace the steering wheel airbag, but I'm guessing, uh, you, well, you obviously you replace the bag and then you have to have it reprogrammed. I don't know what that costs. Probably not a whole lot. But look, man, this is totally, totally fixable. Uh, looks like maybe the condenser is bent a little bit. The crash bar is bent in a little bit. But fixable. Absolutely fixable. I'm going to give you guys the number on this one. <clears throat> this is a 2019 Honda Civic sedan with, what, 53,000 miles? And the number, in case you want to go online and take a look, is 3546419500. Paint on the outside's not bad. A couple little minor scratches. It's got no moonroof, but you know, the hood is pushed back three quarters of an inch or so. But the hood itself, hey, you know what? You can probably get a hood from a dismantler. You can go to like LKQ and places like that. Just call them up, say you need a gray hood for a 2019 Honda Civic. They'll tell you whether or not they have it in stock and they'll send it to the closest store to you. You bolt that puppy on and all these little pieces underneath here and you've got yourself a car at a far less than what you'd pay retail. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, we're going to do this uh, Honda Accord real quick. And this will be the last one. So this is a 2018 Honda Accord sedan. Lost type is collision. It's got 64,000 miles on it. Uh, it looks like maybe front end collision. And if that's it, then that's not bad. Uh oh, I see a front wheel in the front seat. Interesting, because it didn't get busted off. It got took off. Uh, maybe they had to do that to tow it. Is it bent up in here? Okay. Yep. That's why. All right. Well, this one, this one is not a fix on the cheap. This, this one had some significant damage to the front suspension. So I would say that's all on this one. That's not something I would be interested in. Those of you who can put these things back together, lickety split, then that might be something you're interested in. 
Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the folks out here at IAA Los Angeles. They are fantastic folks to deal with, to work with. They've allowed me to come out here and take a look at all these cars and get my feet wet, so to speak, um, in doing these walks and evals. Our walk around evals, we're getting started today. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks at IAA. Thank you, for folks at IAA Corporate Office. And thank you for being so cordial when I arrived. It's just, it was just fantastic. Fantastic. If I were here more, I would come here more and I would buy stuff from here just because the folks here are so nice to deal with. Of course, I'm going to buy what I need to buy, not just buy something willy-nilly. But if you want to buy something, you can buy something. You don't have to be a dealer. You can sign up with a broker and you can have the broker bid for you. It's a small fee plus the auction fees. You can get it done. If you, if you want to spend some time, time, time is what it's going to take, a few bucks in parts, and you're going to have yourself a car that's a fraction of what you pay retail. Anyway, I go on and on about that. Thank you guys for watching. And gals, folks, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We will be back very soon on the next one. Thanks.